Good morning, YouTube. Hey, thank you for tuning in to Biazio's Hanging with Heavy Welding video series. Today, I want to talk to you about something very important. That's personal protection equipment. Now, I know I look pretty sweet out here in these sunglasses, but I'm going to tell you right now, they're not going to do anything for me in a shop. So let's get rid of the sunglasses right off the bat and put on our welding safety glasses. These are going to protect us in the shop all around. Let's start off with our head. You want to protect your head. And for that, we use a welding cap. Now, this welding cap is more than just a fashion statement. It's a tool. I wear it, and I can protect the back of my head. I can pull it around. I can protect my ears. Don't be caught without a welding head, hat, especially underneath your welding shield. It's going to protect you a lot. Let's talk about the glove. You're going to want to use a welding gauntlet glove, a good heavy glove. Look at it. Make sure it's not torn in here or between the fingers. When you put this glove on, it should protect your hand from sparks coming across the back. Because as you're welding, there's going to be a lot of sparks. So keep that in mind. Now, I know what's going to happen out there. Many of you are going to go out to the welding store and you're going to, they're going to sell you these lightweight calf skin or goat skin gloves for 30 bucks. You're going to put them on and after one day in the welding shop, Shield and Metal Arc Welding, you're going to have burnt these gloves up. These are not the gloves to use. Make sure, if you're working in the shop, that you always wear gauntlet style gloves for welding. Now, let's take a look here. You'll notice that I have on my No Smoking Bags t-shirt. I have on a heavy canvas cotton shirt over top. I'm going to protect myself even more by welding by wearing a full leather welding jacket. Now I say this is a full jacket, I mean because it's full this way. Only the sleeves are leather. So in a hot day, this is not so bad. And it's good for the shop. However, you find yourself out there on a pipeline welding day in, day out with the high fire wires, you're gonna find that you're gonna need a full leather welding jacket. That brings us to our welding shield. Your welding shield's gotta be in good shape. Make sure it's not cracked. When you hold it up to the light, do you see any light coming through it? Because if you do, you're going to get burnt. Ultraviolet rays are going to burn your eye, the most sensitive organ in your body. I know what you're thinking, but it is the most sensitive organ in your body. You get a sunburn and you'll see what I'm talking about. You should always have a number nine lens inside of your welding helmet. Let's talk about my pants. As you can tell from my blue jeans here, they are a European cut with a decidedly American flair. I do try to be stylish. But they are 100% cotton and they won't burn. And it's important that everything you saw here today is either cotton, leather, or wool. Our feet. Now, let's talk about our feet. You should have on 100% cotton socks. Not those nylon things, not those sports socks. You should have on 100% cotton socks and well-constructed leather shoes. Now these shoes aren't worth a darn because they're not six inches tall. What's going to happen is sparks are going to fall in here and you're going to get a very serious burn because welding takes place at 2200 degrees. What you want to do is get a pair of shoes that are at least six inches tall that will protect your feet. I would also suggest leather laces. Now there's an argument about steel toes. If your company requires steel toes, then you must get steel toes. However, if not, you may find yourself in the wintertime not wearing steel toe shoes, depending on your type of work. Look, I hope you learned a little something today from Biagio's Hang With Heavy Welding video series, and I want you to tune in. I want you to like, share, and subscribe. But you know, more importantly, I want you to work safely. I want you to be able to work, and so you can go to work on Monday and earn some money. I know you're dying to get out in that shop and work on that go-kart or work on that hot rod, but if you don't protect yourself on Saturday, Monday's not going to happen. So until the next time, I'll let you know. I'm going to keep the arc on for you, and I'll see you at the next welding video series. And don't forget, we're going to be doing shielded metal arc welding in detail. Talk to you later. Bye now.